Today is the day we welcome home the true American hero. Jane Horton stands tall and proud to be the first to greet her hero home from Afghanistan. As his plane opens, it's not the welcome Jane nor Sherry and David Horton ever imagined. Chris did not lose his life. He laid down his life. Specialist Christopher Horton from Collinsville will now forever be draped in the American flag, a symbol of his ultimate patriotism. My son's passion his whole life was to be a part of the military, and he loved his country. And he was going to make sure that we in America had the freedom that he died for. That passion even carried over into politics. The 26-year-old once worked for Mitt Romney's campaign. I would always say, Chris, it's time for you. I want you to run for Congress. No, I will, I'll do that when I'm old and I can't carry my gun anymore. The Horton family says his many talents could have taken him other places. The business owner and skilled marksman was contacted by numerous federal agents for employment. However, the Hortons are in sync that Chris would have never done any less. I would always ask him over and over again, are you afraid yet? Are you scared, you know? And he'd always say, Jane, don't you get it? I have nothing to be afraid of. And the Horton family is stressing for our community to rally around soldiers of the 45th as they continually lose each of their best friends, yet they have to wake up day after day to keep on fighting. We just all need to continue praying and lifting them up, and we need to bring them home. Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you.